Now, your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. The NTSB laid out their findings following last year's deadly crash in New Hampshire involving a West Springfield truck driver and a large group of motorcycle riders. The organization saying they believe the cause of the crash was Vladimir Zakovsky's impairment from drugs. Officials say the West Springfield man was found to have used fentanyl and other drugs roughly 12 hours before that crash. In Ludlow, nearly 100 people at the Hamden County Jail have tested positive for COVID-19. According to the Hamden County Sheriff's Office, 79 inmates and 20 staff members have tested positive. According to jail officials, positive staff members are at home quarantining and all positive cases among those in custody are showing mild or no symptoms and are in medical quarantine with around the clock medical care. And Holyoke Mayor Alex Morse has announced he will not be seeking re-election. Early this morning, Mayor Morse releasing a lengthy statement regarding his future. In the letter, he reflects on the last 10 years of his political career and mentions all the progress made in the city of Holyoke during that time. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown. The check of your forecast turning chilly tonight. It's still a little blustery too. Winds occasionally gusting 20 to 25 miles an hour all the way up through midnight with temperatures dropping back into the 30s. We'll have a mix of clouds and clear sky overnight. Temperatures dropping down to around 30 degrees. Some spots in the 20s if wind can lighten up enough. But we're still a little brisk on Wednesday too. This is all due to that lingering upper level low passing off to our west. Keeping us partly sunny so we'll have more clouds and sunshine. A little brisk still with wind at about 10 to 15 miles an hour and back to near and slightly below normal temperatures with highs in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Now Thursday and Friday temperatures come back into the upper 40s. We do have our next storm system that's kind of moved forward uh, into the weekend, moved backward into the weekend actually, and it's looking like rain is going to be possible throughout the day Saturday along with gusty breezes and then some snow possible Saturday night to Sunday morning drying out for early next week. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.